What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another New World video. Today we're talking about the data mines for the data mines of the data mines <laughs> in the public test room. Shouts out to Marks uh, for getting this information together. Uh, we got a lot of information going on. So let's get into this guys. I think you guys will be pretty excited for some of this stuff. So lots of cleanup in the development areas of Brimstone Sands, Isabella's Lair, Eridanus Caverns, uh, all expeditions. I talked about there was like six dungeons before that were data mined. Now that we're getting closer and closer to that, it will make sense. I got a question on the stream as to how I thought things would unfold. Cause you know, I put out a video earlier talking about how you could basically kind of glitch your way into fighting, uh, what's his face, Thorpe. <clears throat> But I think that Captain Thorpe will eventually be a story boss. And I think that Isabella, as, as you guys remember, she's also part of the story. And if you follow the story up to uh, Ebon Scale Reach, uh, she kind of just disappears and you don't know what happens to her, right? So I think that her lair, Isabella's lair, the expedition will be where we continue the story and we go to fight her to find out what's next. And I think that'll eventually lead us to fighting Thorpe. However, I do think that Captain Thorpe or Lieutenant Thorpe or Commander Thorpe or whatever the hell, <laughs> I think he's only a very small segment of the story. And I think he's only chapter one because we have to remember that Thorpe became corrupted, right? So there has to be a source of corruption, meaning things are only going to continue to get crazy as we move through the game. Now. You can no longer place camps and invasions. Twitch company crests and armor dies are coming soon. Lots of tracking for anti-bot and gold selling measures. Uh, new partial ban penalty. Uh, new emotes and store items. Looks like fish shake, chest pound, cry, nose blow, uh, firework one through five, leg dance, cold, belly laughed, and a gift. Uh, the great sword is being worked on. Uh, this is actually uh, included in the data mine. The blunderbuss has new effects. So it looks like some elemental effects that you can apply to the pistol. So maybe some elemental bullets or something like that. But we'll have to see. <clears throat> some new random encounters. Uh, so I I'm assuming similar to other MMOs where just random things happen in the world and you respond to those events type deal. Upcoming holiday events, which I know a lot of you guys would be excited about. Me personally, just give my damn Santa hat. And something that you guys aren't probably excited about, which is they're increasing the amount of XP and level uh, for all trade skills. So when we looked at it in the game, it was roughly about double. <laughs> all right, so <laughs> just be ready for that. All right, so this is the one that you guys probably aren't excited about. Now they're increasing the territory standing XP from one to 1.25. So it's gonna be easier to get your territory standing up, which is always a welcome change. There were some balancing changes where the sword leaping strike cooldown was reduced from 25 to 18. Warhammer mighty gavel from 22 to 20. Hatchet rending throw from 15 to eight seconds. Musket power shot cooldown from 15 to 12. Musket shooter stance from 20 to 18. Musket stopping power from 18 to 15 seconds. Bow rapid chop from 20 to 14. I'm sure a lot of you guys will appreciate that. And the poison shot was from 35 to 30. Rapier Slash was from 11 to 6, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are going to have a field day with that, especially with the Repost now being reduced from a 20 second cooldown to a 12 second cooldown. Ice Gauntlet Ice Shower was actually increased from 20 to 30 seconds, so be ready for that. Uh, and Life Staff Sacred Ground, although the cast distance was increased 5 meters, the duration was reduced from 15 seconds to 12 seconds. So uh, there was also a great sword offensive attack that caused five stamina with the slow status effect, but you know, neither here nor there because great sword's not out yet. Now game mode mutations are being worked on. Um, so basically how this works uh, is basically it's going to be 10 ranks for each dungeon, uh, more work on dungeon mutations, which means that each rank is probably going to give better loot and it's going to be harder. Um, so I'm curious to see how they're going to stack that 10 ranks is kind of crazy. Uh, but let's, you know, let's see what happens. I'm actually pretty excited about that, especially as they're going to make the tuning orbs cheaper. And it's going to be a lot easier and the dungeons are going to be a lot more accessible. I'm wondering if there's going to be tiers of tuning orbs or if we just use the same type of tuning orb for all of the dungeons across the board. So next up, we have some new MTX items. Uh, this first skin here is part of the... Um, Prime Gaming pack. I remember seeing this. This is the one coming November 23rd. If I, I might be a little off. Don't quote me on that. Uh, but these other ones look like cash shop items. But this uh, classic RPG rogue skin, I'm buying that. What we need though, Amazon, is the ability to actually dye our skins. For real. Because that skin right there in an all black. Oh boy, let me tell you. Or red, little Miss Riding Hood. Let's go. 
Now, this RPG wizard, I mean, <laughs> I don't know if this is a wizard or a jester, but hey, you know, to each his own. And this harvester skin is actually pretty solid, too. I really like that hat and this skin as well. And this royal court heavy actually looks kind of dope, too. And this is why, please, Amazon, let us dye the skins, because I would love to see this in a different color. And then we got the royal court medium and then the royal court light. Um, and then of course they're introducing camp skins so you guys can get some custom skins for how your camp looks while you guys are you know in the world so some cool stuff we got some actual images here uh, nothing else too crazy uh, just some new files that were data mine again shouts out to marks for posting this and getting all the data data mining done uh, I will put this link in the description box if you guys want to see this for yourself but all in all I'm pretty hyped so we're gonna continue to test the PTR I'm in the middle of testing all the gauntlet and all that stuff right now and looking at all the new content as soon as we get some patch notes and all that I'll be sure to put those out as well as we talk about all the official changes when we get an Amazon version of that but we're still just kind of waiting so anyway you guys that's all I wanted to cover today if you guys got any questions comments concerns definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist and we'll see you guys in the next video peace